Hello, everybody, and welcome to Red Ronin. So this has been kind of on my to-do list for a minute now, uh, and I saw it was on sale, so I grabbed it, and here we are. This is the third game by Weird Dream Studio that I'm covering on the channel, the first one being Undergrave, which I played as a dem in a demo format. It's not out yet. Same with Frog, which I also played the demo for. So I figured I'd go back and take a look at some of their older stuff, as I've been really enjoying those two demos, and uh, this one popped up. So this is a level-based kind of almost Sokoban-style puzzler, except in a um, Potline Miami spree-killing kind of mold. Uh, it is a top-down tactics game, essentially, uh, where you have to play as this character who's in the middle of the screen with this little orb thing with a sword, and you run in and stab a lot of people. It's a pretty good time uh, from the little bits that I've played. I've played about the first third of the game. The game claims to be about five hours worth of handmade levels and has some challenges such as like beating the game in under an hour. So it definitely has those kinds of speedrun tropes, but like is kind of a slower based pace puzzler that you could take at whatever pace you would like. It is quite cheap. Uh, currently the game is sitting at like four bucks, so keep that in mind. So I'm just gonna delete my previous save here. And many tears were shed, but it's fine. Would like to note before you see any more of this and before I click the continue button, there is an epilepsy warning at the beginning of this game. So just keep that in mind. The game automatically saves your data, yada, yada, yada. Now we have some dialogue. So this is how it ends. Losing everything made me realize what I had. Oh, look, a sword. Right or wrong? Truth or lies, none of this makes sense. Forgive me, guys. We'll be together soon. It's got a bloody good style, too. So this is kind of your beginning of the tutorial. And Isaac the Robot is talking with us. You're sure about this, right? Then our player character. This is just the beginning, Isaac. I'm assuming Isaac has already been bound. Probably bound to us, in fact. Terrible joke? Well, I mean, I had to make it. And you know the consequences. Yes. Uh, just give me the, his location. The target is on the highest floor. My readings are indicating a high number of individuals inside. It is likely that they know we are coming. Perfect, says Red. Do you want a shortcut? No. Let's go in by the front door. So, now we're in the game. So we can move uh, this way. Apparently I just got an achievement for waiting. Uh, but we, we, we move along these kind of lines, right? Now, this is kind of your tutorial area. You need to get to that door. And there's many ways you can get to that door, but... We go up here, and then we kind of have the different angles. So this is controlled with W, A, S, and D. And eventually, the game will give us other ways of getting through these levels. Um, of course, there is a score at the end of every major zone, so you know you're going to want to get through in as few moves as possible and all that jazz. But you'll really start to see the puzzle element as they add in mechanics. Down in the bottom right there, there are two pickups that the game is going to tell me about uh, in the next few floors. The one on the, that is controlled with Z on the, the key um, is uh, like a time dilation where you can skip in it the enemy's turn. And on the one on the left lets you swip, swatch, swip, swap, swap directions. That's the word I'm looking for. Swap directions mid-dash. So while you're dashing across an area, you can like angle it up or, or in a different direction and cut through multiple things at once. It's pretty cool. So still no enemies, but we're just, you know, traversing the environments. It's very empty for a hideout. We're already up on the second floor. And this is where the game begins. And just like this studio's other games, I just want to shout out that, man, this, these tunes, pretty good. Very simple start. So this game is very structured similarly to something like a Hotline Miami, right? It's all about, you know, Spree killing and carnage, essentially. All right, so now we're in a similar spot. Everything dies in one hit, including yourself. And if they are one tile next to you, you die in the next turn. You want to get your combo going as quick and as long as possible. 
I love how much this game kind of lends itself to just playing quickly too. It's extremely satisfying. So this is kind of your first level where it kills you intentionally. I'm just gonna move up to show you what it looks like when you die. Now, if you notice up in the top right, our score actually went down from 720 down to 480. So you really kind of don't want to, you know, lose those points. It's much better to just kind of stagger step there and not take the death. For the optimal score, obviously. All right, so I kind of screwed this up a wee bit, but I can't get out of here, so we'll just go this way. Hit you, slide through you, and then that's left. Perfect, just dashing back and forth a little bit with the happy feet. And then it starts introducing traps. So those become knives on the floor after you've spent one tile sliding over them. It's also where we're going to use that time dilation ability to uh, not kill, kill yourself on the traps. <laughs> so let's fly up forwards, across, down, through you, up one, and he'll move up, take it out. When you're on a roll, the levels are solved really quickly and really smoothly, and there are multiple ways to do each level in that format. So this is where they tell us to use the, the Z key to freeze time. And there are levels that they're gonna start feeding you pretty quickly where you're gonna get extras of these power-ups that you don't need to pick up, and they're optional, so you can choose whether or not you wanna pick them up, right? So if we move up there, we just die. So what the game wants us to do is pick this up, skip that dialogue, slow down time, Easy peasy. Let's grab another one. Pause time. Cut through them. So if you can not use those power-ups, then you carry them on to the next level. All right. So this is where things are gonna get a little messy here. I am gonna need to use this time dilation, so cut through both of them. Hmm. Is that actually gonna kill you? Okay, so yeah, the, the trap the, the trap killed him. And then I fat thumbed that. That's my bad. Which then kills me. Let's move down this way and then immediately get killed by him. I'm just completely failing this now that I'm like, yeah, this is how you do these puzzles, right? Because like that trap should kill him, right? I definitely know how to do these, it's just, you know. If you, if you don't think about it, then you forget, and then you're too busy focused on recording the video and not focused enough on uh, maybe entertaining you guys. So now there's traps over there on the right, right? So what we're going to do is that they're going to kind of explain it to me, um, but I thought I was still in dialogue. They're going to explain it to you where they say, all right, so what you want to do is you want to hit the, the left mouse button. Um, the right mouse button, rather, not the left. Uh, and then place this here, essentially, but you need to wait for the dialogue to end. But they're telling you to turn it first. And you place the arrow where you want it to go. So using the scroll wheel, you can uh, point it in a different direction. Then you select where you want to place it. And then we right-click again to return to combat phase and skip through the dialogue. And the way this mechanic works is pretty simple. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit right, and then when we hit that, we're going to bounce up. It's, it's much more obvious in-game. Kind of wish I could skip that whole sequence, but that's fine. All right, so I have to go grab one of these. And so now there's these, this trap here that's not going to go away. So what I need to do is I need to pause, essentially, in a turn-based game. Ain't that kind of funny? With the right click, and then place that there, and then we can go around it. And that's going to become a very important mechanic going forward. Hmm. I don't actually think that there's a way to get through this without using that, so... is kind of the tutorial piece. But now that we're in this area, the game begins as proper again, so fly through. Now, I could go straight back, but the, the problem is, is I'm going to collide with the trap, so I'm going to go up here, cut through here and here, take all three of you out, jump down here, jump up one, move over one, keep that combo going, roll over to the side on the right, jump up one tile, pick this up, fly up, and then immediately get my head cut off because I didn't think that through. 
Let's try this again. Jump over to the right, hit Z, jump up, slam through you, slam through you, move over to here, jump through this person, move up, move over to the right one, cut down through you, straight over to the right, perfect, pick you up. Now, theoretically, what I could do is I could, I'm getting achievements left and right here and I'm not even sure why. Uh, I could go over to the right here, but she'll still kill me regardless, or pink haired person will kill me regardless. So I'm just gonna do that. Cut over the side, back in for the prize. So with this one, I'm not actually sure how you're supposed to do it by default, but that was the way I did it the first time. Terrible score, but you know, we're not score attacking. Chatty says, kill her now! All right, so what we're gonna do here, there's actually extra power-ups here, so that, that's that's our goal, that that person at the end there with the, with the big hair. We want you dead. So I'm actually just going to pause time. Hmm. Now I'm wondering, is... Hmm. It feels like, as I was gonna say, I'm like, I'm gonna try and use the time dilation, but I wonder if I need to actually use both, let's see. Hmm. Seems like a waste. Hmm. I guess the way we want to do this here is fly over here to the right. Or rather, time dilate, fly to the right. Time dilate. And then down here, angle that down. Cut through you. Time dilate again. Put you into tiny little pieces, fly back over. Uh-oh. But now see, we miss out on that extra power up, right? So how could we do that exact same thing while also getting the power up? It's really got me wondering. Here's an idea. Because I can just slide through you here. Pick that up. Then I guess like I, I need to use the other power up here. All right, fine. If you insist, game. Wait, why why is that in, intent? Why 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 is it forcing me to do it that way? Because that's just gonna kill me. It's really funny. It's like the first time I did this. I want to say I, I did this first try, right? And now that I'm doing it in a video, it's like, I'm incapable of doing it. What's wrong with me? Eh, let's just try and get to the end. It's like, I know how to solve it. It's just, how do I perfect it? For some, I, hmm. It's part of the problem with this, like, absolute banger of a soundtrack is it's kind of distracting. I don't know if any of you guys ever have that, but like, do you, do you ever play a game where it's just like, oh, this music is so good that I just need to play faster, even though it's a game where you need to be methodical and slow? Cut through you, down to there, perfect. So Chatty says, look who showed up. Did you come here just to return the flowers I sent to your funeral? Red doesn't say anything in response. What do you want? Do you miss me? Nothing in response. If you want my money, I can give you some. Just give me some time. Just exclamation points. Who sent you? Come on, Red. We can solve this. Give me some time. There is no turning back, says Red. Who sent you? I can help you. Just say the name and I'll figure it out. I'll give you and the other's locations. I know. I can help you. Let's negotiate. We can solve this together. You really are a rat. You'd even sell your mother to get out of this. This is how I reached where I am now. And this is how it will end. So now what I can do is that. We pick, we pick that thing up. 
What is this? This looks like a memory unit. They're generally used to store sensitive information and data uh, contained has a very secure I encryption. I want to say inscription. The problem with that game being constantly put in headlines is it's burned into my brain. Do you think it can be decrypted? It may take some time, but yeah, it's possible. I'm receiving data from the bottom floor. She's moving. Okay, let's go. And that's Red Ronin. Or rather, the kind of first area of Red Ronin. Once again, this game's like five bucks right now. It's super cheap. And kind of a really fun mix of hardcore tactics and kind of casual puzzle game. The car is gone, as expected. The locator is already working. And she's going north on the fifth on Fifth Avenue. Let's go now. Not yet. I, I want to see what's inside this thing. Okay. Just don't forget what, uh, why we're doing this. I would like to inform you that my time last time was better, but my rank this time is better. That's interesting. Maybe I got better combos or something. This is Red Ronin. I, I recommend you check this game out. If this if what you've seen here is interesting to you, I'm going to keep playing a little bit more of this. I don't think I'll stream it, but this is a it's a, it's a fun little thing. That's how I'll put it. It's a fun little thing and worth checking out at the for a couple of bucks. Uh, and uh, this has been uh, a video on my YouTube channel. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like it, there's tons of random uh, first impressions videos of games that you probably haven't heard of on my YouTube channel, as well as more Dwarf Fortress than you could reasonably watch in a lifetime. If you want to support the stuff that I do directly, uh, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description. And if you want to see my face while I talk over video games, you can go to twitch.tv slash B-L-I-N-D-I-R-L for uh, live streams of games like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.